right, good day. Um, welcome to part two of my video on uh, pairing SFM models or just game models in general for animation. So, yeah, uh, we're pretty much gonna rig this character, um, Sniper. I've uh, rigged the uh, engineer and a uh, pyro over here. And um, yeah, we're gonna uh, try and our best to apply the same rig to Sniper over here. So um, first of all, um, let's locate the hand wound, I think, right, go to edit mode, let's just do this again, edit mode, duplicate this, this bone, and gonna name it hand underscore ik underscore r, we're gonna go to the elbow also, Ex uh, extrude the bone out, press y, and then we're gonna alt p to clear parent, and shift it, press g, oh, so one second, a screencast is not on. There we go. Alt P to clear parent and then shift it out here. Maybe uh, scale it a little bit. And also this, uh, no need to scale this one. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of scaling. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, make sure you name this um, pole arm underscore big R, capital R. This should be capital R also. We're naming this capital R because that's the name of the suffix for other bones. It's uh, really useful uh, if you just name it the same. Uh, yeah, for animation. And then uh, the last thing we're going to do actually, we're going to extrude a bone from here. And then yeah, we're going to name this upper arm FK underscore R. And we're gonna make the parent the uh, pelvis. I'm gonna press the Shift I, uh, select uh, the IK bone, and then select the hand bone. Press Shift I to active. Gonna go to bone constraint properties over here, and then um, we're going to um, select uh, the pull for the, we're gonna do for the pull target. Select the armature bone should be the pull arm that we just created uh, chain length should be 3 and rotation just check that now we have a nice decent oh 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 <laughs> one thing I forgot to do is um, clear this parent uh, the parent should be the pelvis also uh, this one the parent should be the pelvis you can parent the hand IK to the root bone or to the pelvis you know I just prefer uh, parenting to the pelvis it's just a little bit more convenient. I think we should be done now. Yes, yes, we are done. So uh, we have this arm fully rigged. So why did we create this bone over here? Well, pretty much you can just uh, go over here, shift select this bone, shift select this bone, control P and keep offset. And now we can control the bone somewhat in a somewhat FK motion. And which is really cool, it's really convenient for me. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Uh, we've finished, finished rigging the arm, that's all for the arm. And next we go for the feet. The leg IK, pretty much. Uh, go near, go to edit mode. Just shift select, uh, just select this uh, foot bone. Uh, shift D to uh, duplicate. Uh, clear the parent, make sure you do that. I forgot to do that before. Uh, extrude the bone from the calf, I believe, from the knee, uh, around the knee side. Uh, clear the parent, remember that. Uh, y, um, just bring it out a little bit here. Press G, then press Y, bring it out a little bit here. And then um, make this the parent of the pelvis. That's just a, my preference. Normally you would parent this to the root, or you just parent it to the foot, but I just parent it to the pelvis because that's a little bit more convenient for me, like I skip saying before. I will say that. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna name these, very important to name them, I almost forgot about that, we're gonna name this uh, heel IK underscore R, next one over here, knee IK underscore R, underscore capital R. Next, uh, gonna do the actual IK, select this bone, shift select this other bone, shift I to active bone, uh, pull target should be this and then uh, it should be that knee 
AKR, it technically should be called pull, but just name it something that you would remember. And as you can see, yeah, uh, I think it worked out pretty well. Yeah, pretty much well. Ooh. It worked out pretty freaking decently. All right, so um, yeah, we finished the right side. Uh, now the last thing that I would like to do is uh, add a spine IK. It's kind of like a, what's called again. It's just what I normally use. You can use it if you want. It is kind of optional. Um, optional feature you would want. We're gonna uh, duplicate this bone. This uh, last spine bone before the neck. Yes, before the neck. Gonna rename this to spine IK. Clear the parent. Alt key to clear the parent, or just come here and click exit. And make sure the parent is the pelvis. And you know, just you know, follow the exam motion. You know, exit and then make the parent, the pelvis, make the parent, the pelvis, the parent. And then um, load the pose mode. Uh, select this bone. We just create the shift select this spine bone that we got it from. Shift I to active bone. There's no pull target for now. The chain length should be at the amount of spine bones. It shouldn't reach the pelvis just before the pelvis. I believe it, there are four bones. Yes. So it should just stop the IK should just stop here. And then um, weight position, you uncheck this and then you check rotation. So now, every time that you rotate this bone, you can make it bigger if you want to. No, that's optional. Anytime you rotate this bone, the whole uh, spine moves kind of in a bendy motion. Oh. No, so, you know, that's really convenient, especially for like walk cycles. You know, if you want to do something like this. Another thing you can do. Uh, if you are to put the spine uh, spine IK, you should apparent this upper arm FK to the, this spine over here. Uh, yeah, so that, you know, uh, you don't lose track of this balloon particularly. So now, the finger rigs. Yes, finger rigs first. Then the next part is the finger rigs. Um, it's a pretty much a simple rig, but it's a little bit, you know, tedious to do. So uh, you select this balloon, select this balloon again. You control shift C R. You're gonna go normally. Um, actually, you should just uh, play around with uh, this because there's some time that the model might be required X times Y sometimes Z, but make sure it's the only one that's you know selected. So now, as you can see, uh, this bone like rotates in this manner, which is kind of like natural. So that's kind of cool. Now make sure that you put it on add. Next, uh, you do these bones. Control C C R. X axis. I think you know how finger moves, so all this should technically be a little bit realistic. So I'm gonna do the rest of the bones. So just uh, yeah, watch through. It's pretty much the same process. You can see this works the same way. Very nice movement. All right, let's continue. I, uh, make sure you put them in local space, both of them. Local space, local space. Just a little note. Local space, local space. And add, not replace. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as you can see, um, I've finished this uh, rig. <laughs> I finished uh, rigging all the finger bones, at least to some extent. So you might uh, the one this had one really good advantage of this is um, you can just select all these bones, make sure that this is on individual origins, the rotation or transformation pivot point, and all you can do is you know you can just close it and the arm is fully closed. Hell yeah, amazing, right? And then you open it, and the arm is you know open, you know, that's really cool in my opinion. <laughs> so you know, and uh, I would suggest um, you know binding a uh, this particular bone something uh, where is it again clear transform yes all clear transform that's normally what I use for like so let's say if I were to edit this you know in uh, some position and like I just want to like you know maybe I want to just revert it back I just select this and then clear transform and you know it's already uh, it's all, all back to the default so just a note anyways um, I believe I am pretty much done with everything with uh yeah I've done the right side so the le many parts of the left side there are actually two ways to do this Hold one second so yeah I'm done yeah there there are actually two ways to do this 
it's really a little bit of an issue trying to symmetrize, trying to like, you know, get these uh, bones working on the right side. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Just know that if it doesn't work, you pretty much have to do exactly what you do here, but on the right side and uh, name the bones, just the bones that you just create, name them to R and uh, insert, name them to L on the left side, name them to L, you know, you know how it is. So we're gonna try, so basically uh, just what you have to take note um, gonna select any bone just just select any bone on the left side shift G and then select the suffix uh, try and look for if there are any extra bones just unselect any unnecessary bone that might not be needed let me see All right um, I think oh I think we can unselect these. These are the gloves. So uh, we're just gonna unselect these. I believe what's this? This is the watch. Just unselect this because this is uh, not on this right side. Uh, we're gonna need that probably later. Maybe unselect this and unselect this. I believe these are the jacket bones. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna delete this. And uh, don't worry about this for now. Gonna select this shift G suffix. As you can see, all the bones on the right are selected. Gonna unselect these ones that we don't really need. And select, and then I believe it's time. Shift. Uh, we're gonna right click, symmetrize. So yeah, this pretty much worked perfectly. Yeah, worked perfectly exactly how I actually needed it to. So these bones that are here, um, all you have to do is just uh, reparent them to the reparent them to uh, this hand over here and any other weird bone that you know goes out of place make sure that you reparent them back to their original owners. It's just you know it's, it's not really that complicated just eyeball it you know just uh, yeah so hopefully as you can see should be okay. Oh, <laughs> it should be somewhat okay. I think we forgot one more over here to watch. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just just check. You know, once you're done, just move the hand around. Make sure that everything is okay. You know, it's no biggie. And then, yeah, we're pretty much done. Yeah, this was actually so much simpler than the other models. Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, I think we forgot the forgot this leg. All right, we're gonna. Delete this. We're gonna redo uh, this bone over here. Symmetrize. So it should work now. Oh, that's the vest. Should work now. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. All right. Uh, closing notes. Closing notes. Um, let me not take most of your time. Not really taking so much time on this. Anyways, you select the knee. Um, what you're gonna do uh, this is kind of really important because uh, the knee kind of messes up sometimes uh, just go to bone properties I believe inverse kinematics gonna limit Z in case uh, by the way in case you can't find something just you can literally just type it and search it on this search bar limit Z uh, make sure that it is like this exactly uh, oh. limit Z is it supposed to be like this? Uh, let me see. Nope, nope, that's not how it's supposed to be. Just, um, let me see something. Uh, wow. Well, yeah, it's a little bit more complicated just because of how the bones are set up, yeah. I pretty much, yeah. I think that this is okay, yeah. I think this actually should be okay. So yeah, make sure the arc is like this. I really don't know how to explain it though, but it, uh, cause the, the bone orientation is not really the best. It's supposed to be straight. I really just can't explain. Just, just copy the settings, alright? Just copy the settings. Next one for here, you're gonna do the same thing. Limit Z, and uh, make sure it's the same thing, I believe, or I guess the opposite. Yeah, it should be the opposite of 
this other one so if it does like glitching out then just know you're doing the wrong thing like what I'm doing right now is the wrong thing so this one is uh, oh, I, I did I, yeah it's supposed to be the opposite it's supposed to be minus 180 this is supposed to be zero so yeah now it should be okay yeah yeah exactly yeah so yeah just try and test it out so now I don't think this uh, the knee bends in the other direction yeah at least it won't bend the other direction so yeah I think I'm pretty much uh, done here uh, here's your model here it probably took a little bit longer than you probably expected but trust me this rig is very 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 uh, you know powerful and cool uh, you know just test it out and you'll realize the power of this rig uh, by the way uh, the spine rig is optional like I said before uh, you can put it if you want to or not um, in case you have any issues um, just leave a comment below and I will try and help you out the best of I, that I can and like I said before if you are to symmetrize and it doesn't work exactly the right way uh, you know just know that you probably might have to you know pretty much uh, recreate every bone you know on the other side and rename it the other team so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, this isn't the last part to the series I plan to make some more because they're just some more tips and tricks that I definitely would like to uh, take you guys on to teach you guys on but like and also um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to all the um, to, to kind of like the where I got the inspiration to make all these uh, rigs you know like this particular one it is it really my original idea and the spine rig is kind of my original idea a little bit but uh, yeah okay hope you guys have a nice day thank you